Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as some of you guys may know, the physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly's Extreme Sea Awakening is coming to the global side of the game at the end of this month. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick breakdown of the post EZA details for this unit and also take a look at the Extreme Z battle event as well so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it officially drops. So why don't we start here with the unit itself? And I think it's safe to say, I think it's very safe to say that before the Extreme Z Awakening, this unit was very, very underwhelming. I mean, all he got on his passive was a 7,000 attack flat boost, no defense, and of course the additional super that's guaranteed is nice, but that was the only thing that kept him from being completely irrelevant. And this Extreme Z Awakening does give him a huge, huge upgrade and it's very much welcome. I mean, I don't remember the last time, to be honest, that I ran this guy on any team. Might have been like two years ago. So yeah, uh, very, very much looking forward to this Extreme Z Awakening. And starting with the leader skill here, he gives physical types keep plus four, HP, attack and defense plus 100%. His super attack now raises attack and defense infinite stack by the way and causes supreme damage to enemy and this combined with his passive which gives him key plus four attack defense plus 80 percent when key is eight or more and launches a guaranteed additional super attack every single turn when attacking and also chance to perform a critical hit with uh plus two percent with each attack performed up to 40 percent which should max out pretty quickly because he does have the potential to launch three attacks per turn. I mean, two guaranteed supers if he is supering, and then plus an additional attack that could be a super from the hidden potential system. This guy is gonna be an absolute monster, man, especially with the stacking of the attack and defense and him getting two guaranteed supers every single turn, potentially a third one from the hidden potential system. Uh, he's gonna be extremely, extremely good for the legendary Goku event, infinite Dragon Ball history, any event that allows him to stack. And he's gonna be super tanky, he's gonna hit super hard. I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive in a way because in my mind at least, I still associate Broly, the character in this game, uh, as a glass cannon, right? Based on the STRLR Broly and the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Like in my mind, Broly's are not supposed to be tanky, but this guy has the potential to become one of the tankiest units in the game, depending on which event, which event you're running, depending on the situation and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's crazy guys. Two guaranteed supers per turn, stacking at least twice per turn if you do get the super off. And uh, that's just that's just wild, man. So uh, yeah, huge, huge upgrade. The only thing that kind of sucks is the supreme damage multiplier, but that's kind of to offset the fact that he attacks so many times, right? And two guaranteed supers, so I'm okay with that. And his links are the same as before, Hardened Grudge, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, and Full Power. So, uh, yeah, he is awesome now. I'm probably going to run him at least on Pure Saiyans, maybe Movie Bosses, as opposed to before where he was just collecting dust. I don't even think he's SA10 for me. Yeah, that's how much disrespect, that's how much I did not like this unit. I, I didn't even give him SA-10, I think I awakened him, but he's at SA-1, no hidden potential investment at all, so definitely gonna get that done once this EZA drops. And let's see if there's any other details I missed here. Um, let's see, raise attack defense for, by 20% for 99 turns, and EZA stuff, max stats are 15,000 attacks, 16,000 HP, and 8,160 defense. Okay, not too bad, so let's move on now to the event itself. And the weakness for the event, the category that gives, uh, that does more damage and receives less damage is Hybrid Saiyans. So obviously if you guys have the ability to run a good Hybrid Saiyans team, then bring your best Hybrid Saiyans team. Um, and as far as the event goes, we get one stone per stage up to level 30, getting physical orbs again uh, along the way. Um, obviously don't use int types because he takes no damage from them or very, very little damage. So don't bring in int types. And then after stage seven, don't bring AGL types. Um, after stage 12, don't bring physical types either because you get 70% extra damage reduction against those types. So AGL, int, and physical. And then after level 19, he doesn't take a lot of damage from extreme types either. So ideally, bring a hybrid Saiyans team or a super STR team and you should be good to go. I mean, a decent team, of course. If you bring like a really weak super STR team, they'll have some trouble too. But any like decent 
uh, Super STR team should do okay here. So getting orbs on the way, getting medals, uh, getting some Kai's, getting some uh, Hercule statues after level 30. Yep, so after level 30, Hercule statues all the way until uh, I think forever, right? Until level 999. And that is all you guys need to know about that. So in total, after you're done everything, you're expecting, or you can expect, 30 Dragon Stones, 11 Physical Grand Kai's, uh, enough of the Physical Orbs to rainbow a Physical Type unit, which could be the Broly if you guys haven't invested any Orbs into him yet, just like me, and you have him duped out. Uh, he definitely deserves those Orbs now. And I think that's it. That's all you need to know about this event here. Oh, we also got four more stones from some missions, so a total of 34 stones for completing the EZA. And here is the Hybrid Saiyans category. Maybe some ideas here for some team building. Right over here. Okay. And that is it, guys. So just a quick little breakdown of the Extreme Z battle event, as well as the EZA details for the physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly uh, dropping on October 31st, Halloween for Global. Very, very excited for it. Can't wait to get it done and actually use him for once. So uh, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you found it informative and enjoyable in some way. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.